What is up guys? It's finally time for my, I should probably put a shirt on. What's up guys? All right, I'm literally about to go to the gym, but couldn't wait any longer. This is my best advice, how to jump higher. Just literally trying to help anybody who wants to jump higher, jump higher. It's my first vlog. It's kind of weird talking to nobody. I do that normally, but usually people aren't watching or that I don't record it. Okay, I'll just get started. Um, set small goals for yourself. So I guess the best example would be myself. Start trying to touch anything. If you can't touch the net, touch the net. If you can't touch the backboard, try to touch the backboard. If you can't touch the rim, just jump and jump and jump until you can touch the rim. That's literally how I started. One day I was jumping, jumping, trying to touch the rim, and I literally touched it off one foot, tips of my fingers, that's about it. I was hooked on trying to hang because I just thought that would be the coolest thing in the world to just hang on the rim with one hand. Jumped and jumped and jumped and jumped until I did it, hung on it, and then from there, uh, so many things happened. I can get into that in another video, but I'll just stick to what this is about. Just jumping is the best. I know I say that a lot, just jump, but there's a lot to that, so I'm gonna get into that a little bit. Jump your hardest every single jump. Jump 100%, you see me going hard, that's because that's the way I know it's gonna increase my vert, vert, vertical. If you just jump and you're just going like this, like you're jumping rope, how's that gonna get you higher? You have to jump your hardest, re that's why I say reach for something you can't reach, cause that makes you jump harder than you ever thought you could. Once I could hang on the rim, I would go for two hands. Go to hang on the rim, that's the first goal for everybody. Fingertips, that's all I did, I'll show you right now in the video. In that video clip, I couldn't even hang on the rim every day. It was just on a good day, it felt good. It took me multiple attempts just to hang on the rim with my bare fingertips, not my hand, which is a big difference. Fingertips, fingertips, fingertips. I went from that to this. some decent dunks. I'm nowhere where I want to be. That's another story. I'll save that for another video as well. So where was I? Jump your hardest. Work on your footwork. Jump your hardest and footwork. Hardest is exploding as hard as you can. Throw yourself some high tosses once you can get close to jumping. Just reach for the rim. It's easy when you can't grab the rim because you just go for that all over and over and over again. Once you can hang with the rim with one hand, do two hands. Once you could do two hands, you start throwing some lobs. Practice those lobs. I can do another video on those as well. Depends on how much feedback I get. If I, no, I'm not going to act like this is a big deal. It's not a big deal. I want to help people. I don't want to just make videos for nothing and cutting that up. You see me throwing crazy lobs, reaching back like this. That's because before I could dunk, I would go for those. I would throw it high, reach, come nowhere close, reach, slam it, break my fucking um, fingers, break my nail. I've done that. Go for it. Throw it off the backboard, reach for it. <laughs> Just throw things that are out of your reach and go for it every time. Those jumps are the ones that count. Start slow. Make sure you're planting straight, you're not twisting. That's why I switched from like back and forth, right, left, left, right, one foot. That was all my footwork. I can get into that in another video if you'd like to see that. Work on your technique, videotape yourself. Uh, I'm a decent example for right, left. I have pretty good form, but there's plenty of other jumpers, dunkers out there that have better form. There's videos about form. I could try to do my own personal take, but just Footwork is key. Once you do that, build that up. Build your speed up. You don't need a huge approach. You need three or four steps at the max, but work on all your approaches. Stand still, one foot, one step, two step, and then a full like three step approach. Build that speed, explode as hard as you can, and your body is upright. I can go a whole video on just footwork and technique of jumping, but just make sure your technique is good. Make sure you're jumping your hardest every single jump. After I could hang and dunk, I was trying to make sure I just was touching different parts of my hand. 
So I would go down here until here. That's when I hit 40 is when I was able to hit here because my hand is eight inches. My reach is about 91 inches. Rim is 120 inches. My 828, couple inches down. Math. Okay, stay lean, stretch your body. So stay lean, you don't wanna to get too muscular, you wanna get strong, you wanna do all those exercises, but make sure you're jumping as well. I never like to just jump or just do weights, I like to do both. I've been slowing down on the weights because I was too heavy, I like to get it a nice weight for myself is 170, I'm like 175 right now. I, was, I got too heavy because I was only dunking, I wasn't playing. Other people have different views. I just like to stay as lean as possible. I didn't feel lean, I didn't feel ex explosive. I'm also terrible flexibility wise, and I know that's really helping, helps everyone stay fit, stay in shape, and also stay healthy. Because if your muscles are flexible, they can recover better, and you can jump more, which leads to better jumping, and that's just my take. Flexibility is huge, so stretch a lot. It's really important, especially if you work out to stretch because those muscles just get tighter than they were previously than if you didn't work out. Stretch a lot. Stretching really helps me jump a lot. That's why I can dunk almost every day when I'm when I'm like feeling healthy and stuff like that. Try to avoid getting injured if you're really into dunking and you're not playing high school or something. I just do a lot of dunking. I play some pickup. Actually, they, they get you injured. I broke my hand, almost cursed again. This is gonna be the cover photo. Uh, there's so much more. I'm about to go dunk now. That's all I can think about. I'm sitting. I can't sit anymore. <laughs> well, just comment what you want to see. Any questions you have. Something I want to cover. I could separate. I can go on deeper into each topic. You. Oh, don't wait for good days. This is what I live by. Because every time I've waited for a good day, sometimes it would come, sometimes it wouldn't. But say I waited three or four days for that good day and it didn't come, that's three or four days that were wasted. And in my experience, every time I push harder than when I'm when I feel tired instead of resting, I do well. Of course, you don't want to get injured. If you have a pain, rest that, get your injuries away first. But if you're not injured, you're just not feeling energized, the most you need to take off is two days. So resting for me, two full days, but don't do nothing. Don't sit around eating a bunch of junk food on your rest days. Sit and stretch, you get a little sweat going, just keep moving, don't sit completely still. That doesn't do anything. At least stretch, at least stretch, at least. Stretching sucks, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Work up a sweat, stretching. Every time I stretch, I do it every day, every night at least. I'm still not even that flexible, but I'm finally getting there because I'm whole, I have to go harder every day because if I stretch the same I did yesterday, how can I expect to be more flexible than I was yesterday? So I try to reach a little bit more every day. So jump your hardest, jump, do all the strength exercises, get strong, but don't wait too long to jump afterwards. So if you do a heavy set of squats and deadlifts, make sure you're jumping like within the next day or three days at the most. Just jump a lot, get explosive. I love sprints. I love jumping as high as you can, reaching for something, just jumping as hard as you can. Take off from distance, just reach for something higher. Go, if you can t grab the rim, take off and hang from further. Ah, yeah. Just do it, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Just jump, it sounds simple but it's hard work. It's simple work, but it's hard work. Bars. Another good tip is record yourself and compare yourself to other dunkers. Follow who you think jumps the best or who's having the most success. All the boys, shout out to all the boys. You know who you are, you have too many to list. Go real quick, CJ, Isaiah, Nico, Peter, uh, the other Peter, the other Peter, there's like four Peters, Dylan, uh, Scotty, fucking T-Dub. He's not dead. Fucking Nathan. Sean, you dunked a little bit. I got you tigers out there. Space man. Can't forget the space man. Hometown. Got him dunking. He didn't think he could. He's a great example. Billy Duran. Can't forget him. Miller, Croha. I love you guys. I'm not my friends though. Lou. I gotta redo this. Maybe a quick recap. I keep recapping. Jump your hardest. I can't say it enough. Jump for something that's just out of your reach. Find something that looks like you can touch it, but you just can't. That's what I did. Find a rim, just barely touch it. Then I started to hang, use your arms, explode, do medicine ball throws, those are great. I'm 23 by the way. Take care of your body is really important. Take care of that body, you only get one skin, you only get one. It's hard work, it's simple work, but it's hard work. Bars. Just